How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a Clark Commando, Cyphreak, Saboteur, Sentinel, Deadeye. Deadeye chosen. Good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make... But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of... Seems more like your... But what... In your... Ha! Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others.
Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the Predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways.
your health. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it.
the Morks produce biomatter in their body. They shed under the stress, blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But not opening for you. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Pew Pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left, make them count. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. There you go.
The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. 